Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Dividing Fraction Models with Least Common Denominators. In a previous lesson, we learned that the first part of a division problem is our dividend, and our dividend is what I have or what I start with. The second part of a division problem is our divisor. This represents how many groups of. So for this particular problem, I'm asking how many groups of one-third are in five-sixths. I always start out my models by drawing my dividend. So here I have 5 6. The next part is I look at how many groups. Well, until this point, my denominators have been the same. Notice that these are not the same. So I can't just start looking for groups here. I have to see what 1 3rd represents in terms of 5 6. So I'm going to actually draw 1 3rd below it. Here I notice that this piece and these two pieces are the same size. That means that two pieces is going to represent one third. So for this problem, I'm looking for groups of two. So I have one group of two, two groups of two, which are two holes, and then I have one remainder. And remember that I'm looking for groups of two. So that's going to give me one remainder goes on my numerator and the groups of two goes below in my denominator. So how many groups of one third are in five sixths? Two and a half. On our next problem, we have four fifths divided by one half. So how many groups of one half are in four fifths? I'll start by drawing four fifths and then I'll draw one half below it. Notice that this time, these are different sizes. So in order for me, because if you look right here, this is, if it's one, two, and a little bit of a third one. So in order for me to be able to compare or be able to look for groups of one half, they have to be in least common denominator. So the least common denominator between five and two is 10. We can easily convert our fifths into tenths by cutting each of our fifths in half. When I cut this half, notice that it lines up exactly right here. So that shows me that I have one, two, three, four, five pieces that are the same thing as this half. So five pieces is the same size as one half, which means I'm looking for groups of five. So I have one group of five, and then I have one, two, three leftovers. So my answer is one whole, and I have three left over out of a group of five. So my answer is one and three fifths. When I'm dividing fractions with common denominators, I'll draw the first number, which is my dividend, then I'll draw my second number below my first, which is my divisor. I'll compare fractions, and if the pieces are the same size, I can simply find my quotient using that information. If the pieces are not the same size, then first I would use a common denominator. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!